the Kendrick Lamar and Drake one is over, O-V-E-R, O-V-O-R, over, over. As we told you last week, there is a clear winner. Kendrick ended up with three diss tracks in the top six of the sales charts, the Hot 100, as well as being the song of the summer. And it is everywhere. <laughs> Dex, are you ready to concede? I just broke my heart a little bit. <laughs> that broke your heart a little bit? <laughs> this is that it's everywhere. Like, I it's feel like I got sadder and sadder as it went on. And the bigger and bigger and blacker and blacker the crowds got, I got sadder and sadder. Why are we doing this at a wedding? What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> Graduation, wedding, like party. Literally, that's all I was life. Like a sporting event, a graduation, a wedding. Like what? A block party. Like what are we doing? <laughs> so wild to me so wild to me um drake better come out put that sub brown out now and that's exactly what he uh wrote on instagram good times summer vibes up next so it looks like he's moving on he's conceding defeat so many words not yeah. willing to go back and forth anymore i mean um, it can only be but so productive like how many songs you guys gonna put out about each other <laughs> That's maybe especially when you're losing the battle. Like it's clear that I mean, it becomes a love affair. America, after, has, after America has chosen a side, clearly. So it is what it is. You know, some point you just have to right? Yeah, you know. But what I would not do though is put up a post like that. I would just not talk for a little bit and just you put it like that. You think this is too much? This is like truthfully, when you say this is conceding defeat, like I would be like, no, it's not. But like, really, it is because you really need really. to do this. He didn't have to, but it, he was kind of left up with no choice. You know what I'm saying? He had well, to. Well, he kind of said his last, his last track that he wasn't going back and People forth. People are screaming A minor, like in the streets of America. Like, <laughs> they're screaming certified ped- pedophile at parties. Like, it's not good at this point. There's no way to go. Before, Jason, even with you, my, my biggest argument was like, when the summer comes, they're all going to be jamming the drake again and i don't think that they are not going to i think that they will but I also like i think they're also going to be laughing at you too so it's like I he's in the know. studio with every writer he can get to cook up the <laughs> banger of all bangers like there's no way that's the only way to come back from this even he if will. he does like the songs that we love like well that people like like where, where it's like the, the poppy catch songs or whatever like then like it's gonna be like but well, you were just criticizing him for doing pop music you he's can't have to, I feel like he's gonna have to take a little bit of a break like he's not he gonna can't be rap stuff because Kendrick has already like clowned him about that like Drake has to like gotta do a country album <laughs> <laughs> no Man. Drake's gonna have to go full Canadian come out with that accent that Kendrick Lamar said he has and just <laughs> done like, a bad bunny or something. I don't know. He's he's got bunny might work, but I think that you gotta kiss the black people away though, because you can't go back to Atlanta to balance them checkbooks. No, it ain't gonna happen. He did buy he did sell his house in LA. He can hit those actions that he like to work. Um, I think he's right. bought a ranch in Texas, so maybe he's gonna be oh. down your area. Let me go with the country, y'all. He ready for it. Drake already know what time it is. He's gonna put that cowboy hat on and, and, and get busy. <laughs> <laughs> like Lil Nas X, like kind of like that. Or Beyonce. Okay. Uh, speaking of beefs, the game and Rick Ross are beefing in what has to be the most uninteresting beef in rap history. Um, are you guys interested in seeing uh, what the game's message to Rick Ross is, or do you? Yes. Care? Okay. Um. So he's calling him the serial killer, um, and he's saying that basically. Uh, you're you're posting a bottled up dog piss, which is talking about his alcohol, and crouching by cars like it's going to get you out of this ass whooping. It ain't. He released a song 
um, about Rick Ross. Um, I didn't find it worthy enough to clip because I'm not really sure what this beef is about. Uh, it just seems like the game was bored and wanted someone to beef with and tried to bait Rick Ross into beefing with him. And it didn't happen. He calls him chicken legs and says, you can't whoop my ass or out rap me. So post all the cards and fake watches you want to. The real fans going to see through you in that wide back music instead of Maybach music, wide back music. I mean, again, the title uh, of the show today has to be we're all fat. Like, this is what we keep doing. Everything is fat shame. It's crazy. And no one cares. I agree with Eric. Um, he called him a human Capri Sun pouch body shaped nigga. <laughs> <laughs> To wrap it up. Why does the game look just like that one singer dude? Jedediah. Jediah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Plastic man. Yeah. yeah. Jadena. Jadena. Yeah, him. I know that's name. Yeah, I, I I think this is very uninteresting. Like we don't know what the origin is. We don't we can't trace it. What's going on? Bored. Bored him on the game's board. Like the game just wanted to get in. Is he like mad because he feels like Rick Ross is bullying Drake? Like what's happening? Yes, I think mostly that's what it is. Um, but it's interesting because the game is from LA, so you would feel like he would align himself with Kendrick, um, but maybe he's jealous of Kendrick for some reason. Drake, you know, he's done, he's done songs with Drake before, so I, I get well, it. Well, you know, the game is still bitter about that Super Bowl performance that he wasn't invited to. Like they had everybody there except for him. So like, I didn't I notice know. that he wasn't there until you literally just said something. Yeah, like it was everybody that was. I think Kendrick was a part of it too. No, Kendrick was. Yeah, yeah I okay, didn't. Come on, I didn't that, that's why the game won smoke. <laughs> like, that's why oh, that makes sense. So, okay, so he's saying. Okay, so in this little thing, he said, um, he was saying that people record disses for people that they want to. Um, yeah, he's basically saying people like choose who they want to beef with, and at this point, like game. Like you're not choosing to beef with Kendrick Lamar, you're choosing to beef with Rick Ross. So if you have a problem with Kendrick, that people like, get in the spot that you feel like you had, why don't you just attack Kendrick instead of going after Rick Ross for whatever reason? He said people choose who they want to beef with. Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah, that's how it works. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's how it works. Tell it might not be in that screenshot, but he said it in another post. He said people I believe he said it, but like that's you know, that's how it works. I, you I choose who I want to fight. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, I mean not to be not to be you know that person, but like if I'm gonna beef with Drake, I think that was worth my time. It's entertaining. Um I, I'm not wasting time beefing with the game. And Rick Ross is like, look, I was I, I came at Drake, Drake didn't respond to me, and you came at me, I wasn't even talking to you, so I, I'm going to ignore you too. So I, I, I get why Rick Ross. I, we're spending way too much time on the most uninteresting rap beef of all time. Well, but, this is the most yeah. uninteresting rap beef. And this is inter- actually kind of interesting. Last but not least, P. Diddy's son, emphasis on uh, the P. Uh, Christian Combs might be out of depth after, reaching a dis- after releasing a diss track aimed at 50 Cent in his father's honor. Um, however, some lyrics in the disc seem more confessional, um, <laughs> if anything else. Here's what Christian had to say about this. I did one of you niggas scream out, no diddy. Fuck that nigga. Bro, blow with me. Baddies, they ready to go with me. I just nod and they know to go get him. Put this shit on wax. All that gossip shit is wax. When all they had was 50 cent. Who put this city on the map? Stop lying. Possibly hated on by many men. And nigga, that's fine. They gon' try to stop these Eminems. And they gon' die trying. Pull up to the south side. We locked in, we got ties. Don't give a fuck about no blogs. Cause we really outside. Probably hating cause we rich. He must think we fucked this bitch. Knock them walls down like when them Fetty boys ran them both our cribs. Too bad they ain't know we bought the one next door. Cause that's the one they missed. How y'all talking like a nigga Tom? Up. Throwing shade, get your shines up. Ask him where my pops at. He on the G6, get in the lineup. Oh. Uh, so, if you didn't hear, Christian uh, alluded to uh, there being another house where all the stash, quote unquote, was that the Fetties weren't able to get because they own multiple houses on the block. Uh, 50 Cent had this to say about that revelation. Now, why would you say some ish like this when you know the feds are investigated? Is you stupid or is you dumb? LOL. You sold 6,000 copies of your last project. You should not be on vacation. Still chasing the dream or embracing the nightmare. Standing by your man. That I respect. So 50. He's going yeah, light. I it was about Meek Mill. Because Meek Mill jumped into it too. Which was very... Oh, messy. so Meek Mill's the one that sold 6,000? I thought he was talking about Christian. Yeah. No, yeah, that second one was about Meek Mill. I don't I even know Christian did Interchangeable, that. I guess. <laughs> I mean, does Christian Combs have an album? I think he did come out with that when he had because he was on a tour. I think that's worse than anything. 
I know he was on a song with Pop Smoke, but after he died, well, his, I think he came. He was on a song with Kodak Black too. His flow is trash, by the way. No, his flow is trash. His stage presence is great, though. Where it might be. He did it. He came up with an EP in, in 2020. 2020. Wait, where's the stage presence you speak of? Like when you see him perform at the BET Awards, you see him perform? Perform? yeah, that's how I was talking with about. Diddy. I've never seen him perform by himself. His one song, like, of course, he didn't perform by himself. So he's being the Diddy to Diddy that Diddy yes, was to, to Biggie. So yep. he's Diddy's Diddy, like Diddy was Biggie's Diddy. Except when he does it, Diddy does it with him. So he doesn't get off the stage. Diddy's like, I can let you go far, but only so far because I still got the. You know. They both just all are shaking. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do it together. <laughs> <laughs> also, just, just prayers for Meek Mill though. Like, I really want my Philly brother to stay out of this. Like, it's please leave this alone. It's not making you look good. <laughs> um, so we wish Meek Mill the absolute best. Is that something that we can we can win? 